been a trout. Not bad. Okay guys, we are making a really simple jig today. The Hoka Heaven device, it's um, Honor S59 with a big eye. I'm using a brown tread, 6 out. I'm going to do about 10 turns. And then snip the tread. From there I'm going to tie in the copper wire. 2 turns from the spool, 1, 2. That should be enough. And then I'm going to use my bad scissors to cut it. Touching turns until the in between the hook point and the hook barb. The tail and the body for this jig is going to be made from a single, single marble feather. I'm going to put it like this and then catch it with two turns of the tread. Two turns and then I'm going to pull it and then see and then see how long of a tail I want. So I want the tail about far as there. These fibers are caught in our tread wraps and these ones are free. So from here we're going to peel them back. Here we go. And that's our mark. Okay, so now we're now we're going to unravel the tread. And then see our mark on the other side. And then peel it back also. It is going to form the tail and the body of the jig. Let's see how long do we want it. It's okay, a little bit more. Here we go. I think I think that should be okay. So now guys, we have two turns here. We are going to do three more for a total of five turns. One, two, tree. Then we're going to peel it back and keeping the thread tight, bring it to where we started tying in the, the wire. Some flash guys. We are going to take two strands. Two strands, we are going to fold it in half. Come in like this. Bring this one here. Black cock cape. Got a feather. And I'm going to pull pull this back. And then continue attaching the tag end while doing attaching wraps and binding everything together. We're going to take the feather and then I'm going to do a, a turn at the back while the feather is flat. And then after that, I'm going to twist it and then continue turning around the hook.
and now I'm going to tidy up. And now I'm just going to pull these fluffy fibers out. Now we have the nice chenille like body. Let's wrap the feather around. Two full turns at the head. With the toothbrush, we are going to lift up the feathers so they're looking up. And now we're going to get the, get the wire. At the end of it, I always make a knot. That way, when I'm wrapping the wire, it won't slip, uh, slip out from my fingers. And from here, we, we are going to tie it off. And then I'm going to bend the wire back. And then tie it down again. And that way it won't pull out for sure. And I'm going to wiggle it and break it. Now guys, this is a feather I found on the beside the lake where I was fishing. Few feathers, guys. I believe this is from a duck. I think it's a nice touch to add it here at the front. And then we're going to spin it. And now we're going to tie it off. Now guys, let's tidy up. And then from here, we're going to go into the wood finish. That was a whip finish away from the hokai. So now here we're left with a little tag end. Right there. And so now we're going to finish towards the hokai. And the tag end will be covered under the wraps. I like the color in it, it's brown. It can represent many things, a nymph, a crayfish, a leech. And the hook have a big eye, so I'll be able to attach it to my uh, jig weight, no problem. Okay guys, we're gonna do three coats of varnish. Okay guys, the jig flies are done. I have made five. Let's check the size. It's pushing five centimeters. A size that a big nymph would have, a small crayfish or a medium sized leech. And I'm going to use it with, with this style weight. In the previous episode, we have poured these weights. I'm gonna leave a link in the description. So I'm simply gonna take out the wire piece, get my fly, 
thread it onto the wire and then put the wire loop back into the weight. Here we go. There's the hook mo moving freely and to this end we're going to attach our line or leader. And then we're going to jig it. Let's put them on the box and take them out fishing. Let's go. Okay guys, I have my uh, <laughs> brown jig. Let's start with the four grams. That's promising guys, no fish on the first cast. Oh no! I got snagged, I can't believe it. Oh no, broke off. Okay guys, so I've snagged, I've lost the leader, the jig weight and the, and the fly. Uh, that's why it's important to make few flies when you're tying. There's a fish, guys. <laughs> I knew I'll get one. It's a good spot here. Let's see the size. Not bad. Here we go guys, look at that perch, right in the corner of the mouth. Let's keep him in inside the net just for now. Yes, there's another one. Oh, that feels a bit bigger. Oh, that, that might be bigger, yes. We have to be gentle with it, so, so I won't break the lip. <laughs> Look at that, guys, that's a second perch. There you go, that's the second one. Let's let's keep him on the net as well. Letting the jig sink. And once it's gonna hit the uh, hit the bottom. I'm gonna do two little twitches with the rod while I'm turning the reel. And then I'm gonna pause it so like this. Like so. And then it's sinking. So 
So this is sinking and hit the bo hit the bottom. Two twitches and two pulls. Yes, there is a fish guys. I knew it. That's a third perch from this spot Very gentle bites very gentle Maybe because it's the middle of the day. They're not that active yet That's quite small it's baby oh, Look at him Look at this little guy So guys, when you find perch, it's a good idea to keep them in the net and take all the pictures after because usually perch come in groups and if you find one, there is more. So keep casting and fishing while they're biting. Keep them in the net in the water and then when you finish fishing, you can take them out for a picture and then release them. Let's let the perch go. Look at them there. There they go. Oh, that was, I knew it felt like a bite. Very nice. <laughs> there is a little perch, guys. Not a bad size. Here we go guys. Look at him. There he goes. Oh no, it's a snag. That's not good. Oh no, there goes my jig. That's unbelievable. Might have been a trout. That was really good. Okay guys, the day that they have come to an end. I've learned how to use a new lure once again. 
we added to our box. It, it's been an amazing day, as usual, with snags, bites, hook-offs and fish. Now we will go home and think of a new lure for our box.